seek your face. And we confess to you, our God, that we have not sought your face. We have not come to you and acknowledge that you are Lord. We have taken things as a nation upon ourselves to sort out. And Father, we declare this morning on behalf of this nation that when they have not been sorted out, we turn against you. Lord, draw us back. Draw us back so that we lift our eyes, we lift our hearts to you and see that you are the Lord God Almighty. We come this morning on behalf of this nation and you've called us here today to stand in the gap, to stand in the gap between the wickedness that we see on some part, in some parts and the goodness of God. And we call on you, our God, this morning as we stand in the gap. We call on you to be merciful to this nation. Lord, be merciful to us and don't treat us as we deserve. But Father, I pray this morning that you would just pour out blessing upon us. I pray that you would bless the elderly. I pray, Father, that you would keep them safe. I pray, Father, that you would bless the elderly, that they would not be just brought under this curse of this disease. Father, I pray that the elderly might know a blanket covering over them. And Lord, may they just know the blood of Jesus is powerful and able to deliver us from any virus. Father, I pray that you would bless those who find themselves unemployed. And Father, I pray that you would just show that you are able to meet our needs in every time of Father, we pray for those today who are feeling somewhat self-sufficient. And we pray, Father, that you would just minister out of gentleness and out of love to those who feel like they've still got it together. Break off the selfishness in this nation, oh God. Selfishness that would say it's me first and what I want, what I want in the supermarkets, I should get. Father, break off the selfishness.